Hello everyone, it's Professor Capco again, and in this video we're going to learn about converting friggin' fractions, uh, in particular friggin' improper fractions, to mixed numbers. So oftentimes you wind up with a, a improper fraction and you need to convert it to a mixed number. Uh, an improper fraction is one in which, like this example I've here with the numerator, which is on top, is larger than or equal to the denominator. So we usually don't leave the answer like that. Uh, there are certain cases where you might need to do it that way, but in other cases where it asks you to convert it to a mixed number, then we're going to do that, where a mixed number is a whole number of some sort along with a fraction. So if we're going to convert 22 ninths to a mixed number, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. We're going to Think about any kind of fraction is really kind of a division problem. So I'm going to do some old school division. I'm going to take my 9, which is on the bottom, and I'm going to divide it into 22, which is what's on top. The bottom is dividing into the top. So old school division, 9 doesn't go into 2 equally, but 9 goes into 22. Well, 2 times is the biggest it will go into it. So 2 times 9 is 18. I subtract 18 from 22 and I'm left with 4 remainder. So we're going to take those remainders and we're going to work with that. So 9 went into 22 two times. So this number up here, that's going to be my whole number. 2. And then the remainder, this bottom number here, goes and becomes my new numerator. That's the new numerator. It goes up here. And what's our denominator? Well, our denominator hasn't changed. It was 9 over here. 9 is what we divided. It stays exactly the same. So 2 and 4 ninths is going to be the answer to that. Now, I want to double check. Can 4 ninths be reduced? Well, if you see my video on reduction, we're going to take the 4 and we're going to put that into a, um, into a um, factor tree, and I'm going to start with the smallest prime factor, 2, 2 times 2, so 4 converts to 2 times 2. And then I'm going to take my 9, and I'm going to put that into a factor tree. 2 does not go into 9 equally, so I go up to the next larger, um, next larger prime number, which is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so I've got 3 times 3. Well, 2 thirds and 2 thirds, though don't, I can't cancel out anything, so I know that this is reduced as far as it will go. 2 and 4 ninths is the answer. We converted 22 ninths into a mixed number. So improper fraction to mixed number, use some old school division like this. If you don't know what I was doing here, go ahead and watch my um, video uh, dealing with uh, friggin' fractions and reducing them. All right, what happens if you have a mixed number, a mixed number such as 3 and a quarter, and the problem tells you to change it to an improper fraction. Well, we're just going to work in reverse. So, just like we did before, we're going to work in reverse. We're going to take the whole number here, the 3, and we're going to multiply it by our denominator. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And then we're going to add to it our numerator. Whatever our numerator is, we're going to add it to there. So, 12 plus 1 is 13, and we still have the same denominator, 4. Nothing happened to the denominator. So that stayed like that. So 3 and a quarter is the same thing as 13 fourths. 13 fourths. So you take the whole number, you multiply it by the denominator, and you add the numerator to it. And that will give you your improper fraction. It only makes sense because 3, that's saying I have um, three holes, which is 4 over 4 times 4 over 4 plus 4 over 4 plus 4 over 4. Each of those is 1. That's a 3. And then I'm left with 1 quarter left over. So that's really what we're doing with that. So hopefully this will help you out. Uh, and you need to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video. If you have other questions or other problems you want worked out, put them in the comments section. And don't forget, Professor Capco says, keep your grade alive and subscribe. Subscribe to my video channel, and uh, I'll help you with all your problems that you may be having in homework. 
All right, thank you. Until next time, this is Professor Capco.